Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mr. Montgomery again, and we've been working a lot with tens and ones and really getting to know something called place value. And place value, for example, is the tens house that we talk about all the time. That is called a place value. And same thing with ones. The ones house is also a different place value. Okay, so we are going to make sure we really know this super, super well today. So, in front of you should be a bag with some tens rods and some ones. And you may, one at a time, look inside. Don't take any out, though. Don't touch them. Don't play with them. Just peek inside and take a guess how many is in there. Just take a guess. Just one at a time. Hand it off to your friend after you take a look. It's okay if you're wrong. It's okay if you're right. It it doesn't matter. This this part is for fun. Okay. Oh, and also, if you do not have a bag with some ten rods and ones in it, hit that space bar on your Chromebook to pause the video and let me know that I forgot them. Okay. But by now, you should have. Uh, all been able to get a peek inside that bag and taken a and wrote down your guess right here where it says my guess you're going to write your guess of how many uh, are in there so like, what's the total so there could be you know 11 total cubes so that would mean you see one 10 rod And one, one. Right? That's just an example. But rate your guess on this line. I'm also going to make a guess. I'm guessing that there is 32. I hope you all wrote down your guesses too. But now I'm going to tell you exactly how many are actually in there. You ready for this? You ready? There are actually 35 total cubes. But how would we put that in a tens box and a ones box? How do we separate these numbers? Well, we know that from, well, from math calendar, right? We do math calendar every day. And we know that we always add one day of school every day. That goes up by one. So, where do you think this five would go? Do you think this five would go in the tens or the ones? Well, since this increases just by one, and it can't have more than nine, we cannot have more than nine, right? That would go into the ones house. And to make them look like houses, I'm going to draw little rooftops. Because the house has a rooftop. And we're calling these houses. So I'm making little rooftops. There we go. Now we have so we have a tens house and a ones house. Okay, now for this three right here. Where would the three go? Is the three gonna go? right next to the five in the ones house or would the three go by itself into the tens house well the three is actually in the tens house right now so it has to go right over here it has to because we call where the three is we call this the tens place or we can call it the tens house so once we have 10 in the ones house that one has to jump on over it has to there can not be 10 in a ones house we're not allowed to write two digits in a ones house this is not allowed nope 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 one number at a time in each house that's it because if there's more than one number then the house is too crowded it's too crowded you have too many too many people in there you got to get them out. They gotta get out. 
and they have to go next door into the the bigger house. Okay, but what if, uh, what if there wasn't thirty five? What if instead there was forty two? What if the number was forty two and there's forty two cubes in our cube bag that we were making a guess about? How would we separate this huge number into a frame with tens and ones? Well, let's think about what we just talked about, right? So we know that this first number can only go up to nine, right? Because then the house gets too crowded. And when this is also the same number that we count our days of school. And how many days go up every day? It only goes up by one. So, since this always increases by one every day, we know that this is the ones place. And it can go into the ones house right here. And we can even go ahead and make a fancy house. Oh, make a better one. Make a little house, rooftop. There we go. Now we have our houses, right? So the two would go into the one's house. And the four, well, what place did we say this was? Well, this is the tens place. So it goes into the tens house. And we could even try drawing this with our tens rods. Let me draw our, our tens rods and our ones real quick. Okay, I drew uh, some really quick tens rods and I drew some ones cubes. And this is what, so if we were to use these uh, tens rods that we just started using, and the ones cubes, this is what it would look like. We would have four tens rods. And we would have two single cubes. Alright. So, ooh, I got a fun idea. I'm going to put down a different number for this next one. And I would like you to show me how many tens rods we would draw. Okay. I want you to draw the tens rods. Let's see. And then also the ones cubes. Let's see, let's try the number, um, man, let's try number 36, I think that's a good one, 36, I'll give you guys a minute to draw the tens rods in the tens part of the frame, and then you can draw the ones cubes in the ones part of the frame. All right, I'll give you guys a quick second. Alright, I think there should have been enough time for you guys. Let me draw how many we should have in each house. Okay, and this is what it would look like if we were to only use our tens rods and our ones cubes to show the tens and ones. We would have three tens rods. One, two, three. And we could even check by counting by tens. Ready? 10, 20, 30. So this is in the 30s already. And then we have our ones cubes that we can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, which number would go in which house? Well, we kind of did the work, right? This 6 goes in the ones house because it is in the ones place. We always start with our ones when we're counting up, right? And since it always goes up by one, it's called the one's house. So the tens, 
goes in the tens house. Okay, so it, we would have the three over here, like the three, and we have three ten rods. And then in the ones, we have the number six, and we have six one cubes. Okay, and for this last one, I'm going to have you guys not only draw the ten rods and the one cubes where they belong, but also I'm going to have have you write down the numbers in the correct boxes also. So don't draw too big, don't go crazy. If you want, for a 10 rod, you could just make a uh, simple line like that. You can just make a, a quick line like that for a 10 rod, okay? For your 10s part of the frame. And then just do really simple, quick boxes for the ones part, okay? So let's do this with the number 50, uh, let's do 53, oh, let me write a better one. So it's going to be the number 53, guys. So go ahead and I will give you guys a quick second to do that. All right, guys, I think that was enough time. Uh, if you didn't get to fully draw, that's okay. Just kind of hang tight and follow along. So I'm going to show you what it should look like with the 10 rods and the 1's cubes. So here you go, guys. I did the work real quick. Uh, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 10 rods, right? And we have the number 5 because this 5... Oh, oh goodness. Because this 5 is in the 10s place, so it goes in the 10s house. And then the 3. We have 1, 2, 3 cubes. The 3 is in the 1s place. And it goes in the 1s house. And that's the order it's always going to go in. The very first number we ever have uh, that we see all the way to the right, all the way on this side. I'm going to make a big R for right. Number all the way to the right is always going to be the ones. And the number all the way on the left over here, I'm making an L for the left, is always going to be the tens. Always, guys. When we have a two digit number, number on the left is always the tens, the number on the right is always the ones. That's all it is. And now let's go on to the next page. All right, give everyone a, a couple of seconds to make sure you're on the same page. Okay, now let's see. Let's uh let's take a look at number 1 here. And let's see what they did so we understand what we're doing. It says count the tens and ones, then write the numbers. This is actually pretty easy. I think we got this. So let's look at our tens house first, okay? And we are going to count how many tens rods we see. So for this one, we see one, two, three. So we're going to go ahead and trace this three now that is in the tens house. 
because we just counted all the tens rods and we know exactly how many there are. Now let's count our ones cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we can go over to the one, the ones house, and we know why they have an eight outlined right there. And then they want us to put the numbers together, which is really easy. Because look, if, say, pretend this wasn't here real quick. And if we take this tens and we put it up here, and we take the one and we put it up here, and we want them to be friends and hold hands, like, we just put them side by side. And now they're friends, they're holding hands, and they show us what big number they make. 38. Three tens and eight ones make 38. That's all it is, guys. So now we can go ahead and trace this three and this eight. Now let's go on to number two. Now that we know what we're doing with these, I would like for you to try number two all on your own. So go ahead, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Give number two a try. All right, I think there should have been enough time because I have a feeling you guys kind of probably went through this pretty quick. So for the 10 space part of the frame, we, to figure that out, we're just going to count our 10 rods to find out how many 10 rods we have. So we have one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to write the number four. And if you want, you could even number them up top. One. Two, three, four, and then that biggest number we're going to write right over here. And then how many ones cubes do we have? Oh man, this is a really quick count. Ready? One. That's it. Just one. And say you need just a little extra step to help you figure out what big number they make. You can just take this tens house, put it up here, the ones put it up here. And make them friends. Let's put them side by side so they can hold hands. And they make a nice big number 41. And we can write that big number we just made over here on the black line. Okay, now everyone try number three on your own also. I'll give you guys a quick minute for that. All right, guys, I'm sure you're probably done by now. So let's look at this. How many tens rods do we have? Well, we can count them, write the number on top. One. And that's it. That was, that was really quick. So now we're just going to write that number one in the tens house. And for the ones, well, we're going to count our ones blocks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just going to write a 9 over here. If you really need that uh, little extra step I drew in, that's fine. We're going to take this 1 and put it up here. Take that 9 and put it up here. Put these two guys side by side so they can be friends and hold hands and whatnot. And we made the number 19. When we put them together, we have 1 10 and 9 ones, And it makes the number 19. Now, you can go ahead. I would like for you to try the next two pages all on your own. Of course, don't tell each other the answers, please. Uh, if you finish early, 
go ahead to the back table. I will have an extra worksheet ready for you guys to practice this just a little bit more. It might be a little bit tougher, but I'm, I have faith in you guys. I know you guys can handle it. Go ahead, give it a shot. If you finish that also, then you may work on your math facts coloring worksheets um, or also a 100 frame puzzle. Okay, so, uh, oh, and also if you're a little lost, come sit with uh, me on the carpet with our other friends and